Hi, welcome to today's show. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how you can take one chord and turn it into many chords. So this is a really simple guitar hack, hack, right? But what we're gonna do, we're gonna play an E major chord. And if you don't know an E major chord, I'm gonna stick it right up here, okay? And if you don't know how to read chord charts, I have a video for that. So you can check out that video Okay, and here we go. So, you know this chord E major. And maybe you know a few other chords, but there's not much you can do with it just yet. We can do something really cool with this. So we have our E major chord. And what I'm gonna do is, we're just gonna slide up to the fourth fret. And we just have a brand new chord. Now technically, it's no longer an E major. So I know people always ask, well, is this still E major? No, it's not. It's a different chord. This is more like an F sharp major chord, but just think of like every chord that we're gonna go through is a major chord, but they're just variations. So this is like a variation of a F sharp major. All right, so now we have this. Sounds nice. And we can also move it up to the fifth fret. In fact, this chord, here on the 4th fret, this chord was actually used in an Alice in Chains song. And then the next chord is 2. So we can also, so we have 2, that's our original. 4, that's the F sharp. 5 is our G major. And 7, that is, a, it's like an A major chord. Okay? And then that's the other chord that would be in the Alice in Chains song. So So that's just one use of that chord. Like that's a pretty famous example. All right, but we have this up here on the seventh fret. We can also go all the way up to the ninth fret and play that here. And that's like a B major type of chord. Sounds nice. And we can use these, we can do all kinds of stuff with it. And now we can even go all the way up to, well, we can go to eight or 10, I'm sorry, 10 as well, and get a darker sounding chord. But that sounds nice as well. We can even go up to the 12th fret and play that, which is like some kind of suspended chord. But this would be like a D major chord type of thing, type. So they're not exactly this major chord or that minor chord, but it does reflect that concept of that chord, right? Like a D major would be barring it, and then if we unbarred it, all the barred strings are not being played open. The same thing here. And if you want to get really clever with it, you can go up to the third fret and play it here as well. It gives us like this F major seven chord. I like it because we can do uh, like all those. But some people have a hard time using these two together other than an example like that. But you know, me, I, I love all that exotic stuff. I'm really into it. So I'll, I'll figure out a way to use it. And you should too. So we have two, now we have three, four, five, seven, nine, ten, twelve. And then from there, of course, as we go up, we're just gonna be repeating our chords again. Like this is back to E major.
that's just fiddling around with that. So that was a pretty cool piece there. And that's just messing around with just that one chord shape and playing it all over the place. Yes, my phone's ringing. Okay, so that's just messing around with that. Pretty, pretty neat stuff we can come up with. That's just using that E major shape. So there's a lot of things you could do with just this one shape. You can strung different chords if you want. Or you can just take the different chord shapes and just pluck out different notes. Alright, so pretty easy lesson, but you can take a simple chord that you already know how to play and make yourself sound like a more professional guitarist. Plus, if you're still new to playing guitar, if you're very new and you find just sliding around like this a little difficult, this is a great practice for you all right, to be able to get more familiar with the entire fretboard and moving your hand up and down. So one thing that this is gonna help you with is holding a hand position when you're moving around. Okay, because I, I remember learning how to play guitar and my fingers would just kind of slip all over the place. I'm holding a chord shape here, I come down here, it's all a big mess or it's all a big mess here, right? Either way. So that's gonna strengthen up your fingers and give you more control over them as well. All right, so if you found this video helpful, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit notifications so that you can stay updated on all the other videos that come out. Thanks for watching.